Uh, let's get into it. There's a relationship that is on the phone right now, and they are not seeing eye to eye on a topic that I think is perhaps the most relatable argument that any couple could ever get into. You will determine who's right, who's wrong in this always exciting edition of Petty Claims Court. In the legal system, cases are tried from Supreme Courts to small claims court. But what about stuff that's too small for small claims court? This is Petty Claims Court. You think you're just driving to work right now or maybe waking up, but in a moment you will be turned into a jury of peers. The first 100 jurors to text in at 800-520-1067 will determine who's right and who's wrong. And everyone knows that's why we fight in relationships, so that someone can prove that they were right. It's the most important part. It's not true at all. I've, I've been to enough couples therapy to know that no, scorekeeping is the key That's to proving who wins the relationship. Any good couples therapist would never say that. Hey, Omar and I agree on this one. That's true. Point Allie, for both of you. You're a loser. <laughs> Let's say hi to Maria. She has brought her boyfriend to Petty Claims Court today. Uh, hey, Maria, first of all, good morning. Welcome to K Rock. Hi, good morning. Thank you for allowing us to tackle this case, something that has been bothering you. And to be at this point only one year into a relationship seems early. Um, doesn't make me feel like there's a lot of, you know, ro- a lot of hope for you guys <laughs> as a couple. But what is the issue that you'd like to uh, us to deal with with your boyfriend? Yeah, okay. So um, there aren't any other issues. So I want to say we're doing good. But this, this really bothers me. Um, so he has this thing where he's really time blind and really unconscious of how long it's going to take to get places. So very often he will do this thing to me where he'll text me that he is on his oh, way. Hold on one second. Hold on. Go ahead. I was trying to get him on the line as well. Hold on. We'll get him on in a second. Go well, ahead. He's not paying attention. I was. I, I tuned out already. What? Go now, ahead. Uh, so he will say he's on his way. Yeah. So he will text me that he's on his way. Um. I will be rushing to get ready so that I can make sure I'm ready on time and standing at the door when he's outside. And I have his location, so what he will do is he will text me on my way, and I will go about my day running around. I will check his location 15, 20 minutes later, and this man is still sitting at home. <laughs> no updates, no nothing. Uh, oh let me, my God. Before we bring him on to defend himself... Please hey, know that you're talking to a skewed jury. I do a similar thing. You because, don't do a similar thing. You do the exact same thing. Yes, exact same thing. Because but when worse. I, when I say on my way, I'm implying that I am no longer like on the couch watching a show. Uh, I'm on my way towards the process of being on my way. I have seen you text your wife on my way while sitting your ass right in that chair over there. Yes, because on my way is like a concept, Allie. No, it, on my way should mean I'm literally in the car on my way to you. No, sometimes you're uh, mentally on your way. Like, uh, for instance, <laughs> if, uh, you know, the... Uh, well, last, then you don't say mentally on my way, well, last do you? week, Last week of school, you know, or like when you got a vacation coming up and you're already like... On, on your way. On your way, <laughs> but you haven't actually gone to the airport yet, right? You know what I'm saying. No! Yes. When you're on your way, you need to be on your way. And I will say I've been guilty of doing something similar, where I'm, but I've also changed it to I'm leaving in a few minutes just to give myself a buffer. But right. still, I'm not, I'm not great with time management, but you do have to, you can't leave people waiting outside for you. That's let's, just rude. Let's bring Angel on. This is the boyfriend. Angel, thanks for being on Petty Claims Court. Uh, Maria has accused you of being time blind. And as a result, using the I'm on my way oftentimes when that is a complete lie. Is that uh, true or false? Um, she, I say that for her to, because there has been times when I pull up to her house and she, She's still not ready. I get it. So so now I've been saying that I'm on my way and I do take like, I don't know, 10 minutes for her to get ready. The drive is like more than 20 minutes and sometimes she's still not ready. Okay. Now she claims that there have been multiple times where you have said on my way and she will check your location and it shows you haven't moved at all. I, I Okay. So I have a driveway. It's a long driveway and I have to move. I have to move. <laughs> that's the greatest. I got to use that immediately. Oh, no, okay. Sorry, long. my driveway is really long. So I, I it just have, takes me a while to get out of it. I, I have those drivers where they're like, 
where you could have multiple cars <gasps> next to each other. I have to move different cars to take out my car. <gasps> I see. So it hey. takes you a really long time to be on your I way. I can't wait to use the long driveway <laughs> excuse. Oh, I'm going to crush that. <laughs> and I have to move the other cars. Right. So, okay. So I see what, what you're saying. What do you do for a living? That, you have the long driveway and six other cars you got to move? You guys running an illegal well, valet in his house? That, that's how you live with your parents uh, still. Well, that should be a bigger yeah. issue here. Here, But let's get to Angel. <laughs> so you say on my way, but you never say that because I have been accused. I won't admit this to my wife, but I'll tell you right now in this court of law. Sometimes on my way is like I'm going to put my first shoe on. Like, do you ever use it like as long as you've started the process that counts? Uh, I say when I'm about to get up from bed, uh, from my bed. But but I want to talk to Maria about whether or not it's true that she lingers to get out of the house, you know, because if he is adjusting his I'm on my way schedule to accommodate her getting ready schedule, then that is a factor that we need to consider. Okay. Maria? I, I don't think that's true, like, at all, because... When I go to his house, I will text him and sit outside his house for five minutes waiting for him to come out. Whereas when he drives to my house, I'm standing by the door literally waiting for him no, to show not. up. Ooh. Yes, I am. <laughs> and oftentimes, we'll do my makeup in the car if I am not ready on time oh. just to make sure he is not waiting on me. Oh, that's not, Damn. Easy. That's not that's easy. easy. I'll do my makeup well, that, in the that's car. That's is... yeah. I'm on my way. How, how long from on my way to being there do you think it is, Maria, when it comes to Angel arriving at your house? Well, it's like a 30-minute drive, so if you account for the other 20 on my way minutes, it takes them about an hour. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, uh, and I will say, you know, the, the whole idea of... Like, people who are bad with time management don't account for any obstacles. <laughs> right. So, like, you leave. If you think it's going to take 20 minutes, you just say it's 20 minutes. And you kind of just do, oh, well, I could probably make it in 15 if I do this and that. If there's an accident, if there's traffic, if there's any kind of deterrent, you are completely screwed. If I encounter one red light or stop sign, my entire system is thrown yes, off. Yes, exactly. I, you leave I, not one minute. I don't leave a minute for anything. For any incidentals. So... Quickly, though, I want to get back to Angel's defense, which is he is ad adjusting his on my way based on Maria's getting ready. Because I know that a lot of people, and I don't want to, you know, get all gender specific here, but let's just be honest. More often than not, in most households, at least in a heteronormative relationship, whenever anyone's going anywhere, the guy is waiting and a woman is trying on outfit after outfit after outfit and... When you say we have dinner, we have a 8.30 dinner reservation, she could still be trying on stuff at 8.40, even though you've been very clear. So even you guys, Allie, behind the scenes here have said to me when I've been bitching about my wife, you said you got to tell her the thing is like a half an hour before it actually is. Well, that's to... what Omar does. Right. Omar does that. And that, and it's worked out well. Like Omar will tell his Absolutely. wife that, that our dinner is at 6, even though it's not till 6.30. And still they'll sometimes be late, but he's accommodated. He's done the relationship yep. math. I think Angel is att attempting to do relationship math ba based on you, Maria, but he's apparently not very good at math. Right. So that's the problem we have now. Mm -hmm. Well, 714 said you just need to change it to I'm on my driveway. Oh, I'm on my driveway. <laughs> now, that's interesting. That's a good argument. Then though. that's accurate. Then he's telling the truth. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, listen, in a moment, this will turn into a jury. The jury will determine who's right, who's wrong. Maria has accused Angel of being time blind, but more importantly, using... I'm on my way under false pretenses. She's checked the location. Angel says he has to do it because if not, she will never be ready. She claims most of the time it's her standing in front of the house going, I thought you were on your way 20 minutes ago. You haven't even left yet. Uh, Ten seconds, closing arguments. You each get it, and then the jury will decide who's right, who's wrong before the ruling of this court. Maria, you have 10 seconds first. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Um, I just feel that if I have his location, he shouldn't be lying to me about it. Yep. And even if he gets held back, he should just update me at least because I'll sit there with no update reading that on my way and no location change at all. Mm -hmm. Angel, 10 seconds, closing arguments before the jury decides. What do you got? Uh, no comment. Oh, man. All right, no defense All is right. the best defense. I like that right there. The guy does not want to do anything to, you know. The witness will not take the stand. We'll come back. Ruling next. It's K Rock, Klein Alley Show, about to get to the exciting verdict. I thought I was excited about the big finale of Presumed Innocence, but I, this verdict's pretty exciting here today as well. Petty Claims Court. My wife texted me during that, and she wrote guilty, and I'm talking about you.
So she is already on the side of, I would imagine, Maria and not Angel, because I also abuse the on my way. But as I've said earlier, my defense is on my way is a state of mind as opposed to actually being in your car and on the way. 818 said, Angel is guilty, but I will say the traffic driveway excuse is probably the best defense in the history of petty claims court. I think it is, and we've had some great defenses people have used, but uh, Angel, I do believe, like, just like uh, people will still talk about Roe v. Wade, I think the Angel v. <laughs> driveway conversation will get brought up in future historical cases, and thank you for bringing that to our airwaves today, Angel. You're welcome. Before I reveal the verdict from the text line, 323 had a question. What about moving in together? Is that a, uh, something that you've considered to alleviate this problem? Um, well, we, we do plan on moving in together by the beginning of next year or the end of this year. But And I'll say 323, like, Klein lives with his wife, and this is still a problem. Yeah, yeah it doesn't, it doesn't solve, really doesn't, solve anything. Doesn't the problem anything. just moves to a different part of your life. Right. You'll need other things. There'll be other things you need to be on your way to, be it kid stuff or, you know, anniversary dinners, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. Uh, the jury has voted uh, well over, well, we got 100 pretty quickly, and then it's been probably well over 1,000 votes now, but... Let's go ahead and give you the exciting conclusion. Once again, if you're joining us, Maria has accused Angel, her boyfriend, of saying on my way. Gosh. He's not on his way. He claims that he adjusted. He has to adjust his on my way based on her ability to get ready. She says that she's the one waiting. It, I don't know. This happens in a lot of relationships. The amount of people that said this happens with me every time. Just get used to it. There's no solution. Yeah, 949 said, this is typical girlfriend-boyfriend banter to me. So as a guy, I'm taking his side, and I'm just going to say she's being dramatic. <laughs> Allie, read, <laughs> read some of the finest of the, because uh, there was quite a few arguments made on behalf of both people, and, and also some heated defenses from Maria and some uh, heated accusations against Angel, but also people that said, look, I'm a woman, and I still got to back up Angel on this one. I'll start with a thoughtful response from 909, who said, why does she need a response if she has this Fulio on GPS, you know where he be, foo? So that's a great <laughs> argument as well. Wow, what a poet. <laughs> Beautifully said. <laughs> uh, let's see. In, uh, in 575, that's an interesting area code. I'm in favor of Angel. Even after he calculated the on my way time, it still takes him almost an hour. And she's not ready and has to put makeup on in the car. That is not being on time and that is not being on the way. Uh, 310, Angel needs to set a location notification when, she's t when he's 10 minutes away from her. I didn't even know you could do that. But people on Angel's side say just block, her, block your location so that she's always wondering and she doesn't know that you haven't left yet. But 951 said it best. I'm team angel stragglers get left behind to fend for themselves. All right, we've added up the votes. Allie, who is the winner in this petty claims court? Keep in mind, it's Maria that brought angel to us. Yeah, unfortunately for Angel, Maria, you have won Whoa, this wow. edition of Petty Claims Court. I see the makeup defense from Angel as well, and a lot of people know that and say that it's very frustrating when people aren't ready, ready. But if it's taking him over an hour, it seems excessive. Maria, congratulations. Uh, you've won this. You were right and he was wrong, which I'm sure you probably would have said regardless of what the outcome was of the case. Uh, the ruling is as finals, and, and as I feel finals. the ruling is final. Excuse me, I'm trying to sound fancy for <laughs> it court. It is as finals. So here's the deal, Angel. Gavel, gavel, gavel. Mo moving forward, Angel, uh, and this is not going to be fun for you, and I'm going to attempt to use this myself, because this is probably one of my wife's biggest complaints about me as well. And I would say for me about you as well. Yeah, I'll still do it for you. I'm not changing it for you, Al. I'll change oh. it for my wife. All right. You can only say on my way when you are within 30 minutes of actually being on your way. Okay. That's so, such a large window. <laughs> within 30 minutes? Keeps it nice and vague. You got to be in the mental mindset. Also, I think you need to move to a place with an even longer driveway to buy you even more time <laughs> for your excuse. I've been looking around, yeah. Uh, Vanessa told me off the air that Angel was a listener of this show and actually got Maria into this show. She was not listening, and Angel said, you got to check out these foods, and now Maria's listening as well. Is that true, Maria? That is true. So Angel did bring you this radio show every day, and now you are a regular listener. Yes. So I think the uh, we've got to go ahead and call this a mistrial and throw this whole thing out, Dude, Allie. Dude, yeah. How is like that that evidence was left out of the trial? I, it's I, not fair. I just got that after the fact. I mean, it shouldn't really doesn't play into this case at all, but it kind of does make it me, relates. It does relate in our weird world, and I feel like Angel, because you brought a new listener to this radio show, which is the most important thing anyone can do on planet Earth. We've got to go ahead and flip the ruling here and say you win and Maria loses. What? 
Nice. <laughs> Right. Oh, you know what, though? We would have longer listening time if he actually showed up on time. Whoa! Okay, oh. back to Maria. Maria. you've won again. You've won again. And that uh, is finals. That's finals, finals. <laughs> we'll take a quick break. We're back with more show, believe it or not, next. Thanks for joining us, guys.